Hey everybody, I'm Dave, editor with Gaming Trend, and I've got two minutes to tell you about the Red Lantern. So you may have seen this tasty little indie during a Nintendo Direct, and it's an interesting title. I played the game on PC for review, and it was a lot of fun. The easiest way to describe this thing is a mesh of survival game and narrative walking simulator, but without the walking. Given you want to know what the game is about, the setting is in the middle of flipping nowhere as you attempt to run away from life's problems with a sled dog team to a snow-covered cabin. I mean, it's still 2020, so why wouldn't any of us want to do that? One of my favorite parts is right at the beginning where you choose four sled dogs for your sled team. You have to pick between eight and I'll be honest, it was hard enough to see past the fifth one. They're fluffy pups, I can't say no. The random musher you play has also mutters to herself and the dogs about life and stuff as the game continues and dang it if it's not interesting. You definitely get sucked into her life as she vents to snowdrifts. So once you're done with that, you start sledding on through the wilderness and things randomly pop up for you to do. Some may be hunting for food, while others getting some extra of the minimal resources or equipment the game employs in its quest to make you annoyed with survival elements. While I'm making a joke here, do note that the survival elements are real. You and your dogs will die if the stamina meters hit zero. But that's the only thing you have to manage, so it's okay. This is where the game can have its best and worst moments. If you fail, you wake up from a nightmare and go all Groundhog Day until you win. I mean, it's not a bad thing and no doggos die, but consequences make games better and the game is less intense than it should be. I also got a little bit miffed with the repetition, because while it was awesome finding new things, the base game doesn't change that much and it can exhaust you. So in the end, good experience with an endearing story, but repetitive in the survival element feels kinda cheap but I can pet doggos, so this game automatically slaps. If you'd like to visit our full written review for The Red Lantern, hit up GamingTrend.com. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Until next time, I'm Dave, and thanks for your two minutes.